Hey guy, getting tired of holding that iPad and trying to type on it? Finding that the keyboard's a little bit cumbersome and you're having some trouble? Well check out PandaWill's new wireless Bluetooth keyboard for the iPad, iPhone, or the iMac. Hey, what's up YouTube? Mr. Double D 50 with BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Today, we're taking a look at Panda Will's new Bluetooth wireless keyboard. This was sent to me free for review from Panda Will. Check them out, website will be popping up. This keyboard retailed for $34.99 and Panda Will offers free shipping from China. So that's the only drawback is, it does take a long time to get to you, but I think you're gonna like this keyboard because I know I sure did. So, moving into close-up cam here, we're going to take a look at some of the differences, some of the similarities you're going to see between the two keyboards. Now, first thing right off the bat you're going to see is your control, function, command, and alt keys are quite different. They've just got them rearranged in a different order right there, and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. It's clearly marked down there what each one is, so you just go ahead and get used to that, and it's okay. So, slide on over to the other side here, and you see your control and alt is also a little bit different. Um, on the Apple keyboard, it's command and option, and on this one, it's control and alt. Now, the biggest difference you're going to see, and you might have seen it back on that command button, is there is a Windows symbol. That's because this keyboard not only works for the Mac OS devices, but all Windows operating systems as well. Now, this keyboard will work with your iPad, which I've been using it for. It also works with your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, works with your iMac, your MacBooks, your uh, MacBook Pros. So you can use it with a couple different mobile devices as well, but it doesn't work for the uh, Blackberry, so sorry about that. But taking a look more at the keyboard at the top here, you'll see that the functions are a little bit different as well. And all you've got to do on the Bluetooth wireless keyboard is hold down the function button while you're operating the volume up, down, the fast forward, the stop, if you're using it with iTunes and stuff like that. Now, the keyboard works great with the iPad. That's what I've got this marketed for. $35 Bluetooth keyboard for the iPad. Who wouldn't beat that? And you know, the caps lock works, the backspace, the delete, everything works well, the volume up and down works well, it's great to use with the iPad. This right here is by far a very awesome buy, I give it two thumbs up. You can get it for $35.99, which is about half the price of the Bluetooth uh, keyboard from Apple, or the, you know, the, the one with the dock on it. So, now you will have to use your own iPad stand, and you see in the video I used one of my uh, Java Edge cases, but you have to use a stand with this because it is, you know, but it's got a great range of motion. You can pull it far back. I'm talking 20 feet. Now, another great feature of this keyboard is it's got a 300 milliamp lithium ion battery, and you just turn it on and off easily with the little switch right here. Now you'll notice when it comes on there is a blue LED indicator that tells you that the keyboard is on and when you want to sync it with whatever device you have, I use a little thumbtack or a staple and you just push this little top button down and it goes into search mode, binding mode, and you'll notice there's a red light flashing next to the power button and that means that it is discoverable. So you turn on your device, you look for it on there and once it's discovered, it sinks right up, that light goes off. Now there's one more LED light next to it, that's your low battery indicator, which brings me to that 300 milliamp lithium ion battery. This thing lasts quite a while, guys. About four days I go between charging it up. And charging is made simple. They include a USB power cord that plugs in right in the back of the keyboard in this small hole right here. And that plugs into the back of your computer, you leave that charged in for three, four hours, and you get a full maximum charge for, like I said, up to four or five days. But it goes into a snooze mode, and it kind of uh, takes a little bit of a nap, when you turn your computer back on and you start typing instantly, you're going to notice it lags for just a second and then boom, it connects right up, comes out of that snooze mode and then you are good to go. So, like I said guys, two thumbs up from Mr. W50. I love this keyboard. Thank you very much to Panda Will for sending this out to me. Check them out guys, they got all kinds of stuff for sale on Panda Will's website. If you haven't, head on over and check me out at buymeaniphone.com. I got video reviews, news, rumors, and more at buymeaniphone.com. Also, if you haven't, subscribe to my videos, and I will see you in the next episode.